Hey guys, the TV here. Welcome back to another video. So today I would like to uh, do a video based on how my year 12 summer went. Um, so I've just returned from holiday and I've just finished my first week of year 13. Um, and I just want to reflect how I spent my year 12 and just advise some um, year 11s, year current year 12s out there as of what they can do to achieve a productive summer. No way is for me to show off at all. Um, it's really just to advise um, what you guys can do. Uh, I must admit, I did have a really busy summer this, uh, this time. I didn't really get a break, but um, looking back, I felt quite um, happy with what I achieved. Um, there is no way any of this, all these schemes, programs, they're not essential to make a good application to university or um, they're not like needed um, in any point of the education process. Um, it's just really just to help add in some extra bits in there. Um, definitely do prioritise your A-levels first. So if you're struggling your A-levels, do put working on that content first. Even if you want to take one of these schemes um, and just uh, use that, that would be enough. But I've obviously gone out of my way to do a lot. Um, and most of these were competitive schemes, which you could get accepted or rejected for. Um, so just a heads up for that. It's genuinely just to advise of what's out there and how you could potentially use your summer. So to start off with, um, I attended an extra scholar um, virtual summer residential. So um, that was basically hosted by the University of Exeter and I was under the course of Biosciences, Personal and Public Health. Um, and it did sort of clash with um, the end of school term. I, um, if it wasn't for COVID, I would have been off on the Exeter, uh, Exeter campus, staying there for a week. Um, and um, because of COVID, it was all virtual. So we broke up from school on a Wednesday, I believe. So the Exeter programme did run from that Monday to Friday. So I did get a study leave within school to attend all those sessions. So it was basically a week full of loads of activities, workshops, webinars um, about Exeter, about the uh, biosciences course, um, as well as uh, completing some modules in your own time. Uh, attending like a little group session to work on a PowerPoint presentation, which we had to present at the end. And we, um, our group, did our PowerPoint on uh, mental health during pandemics. So obviously reflecting on COVID-19. And we all had, within our group, we had one, um, we all had a, a role to do um, one, one or two PowerPoint slides to highlight a key area um, of mental health. And we just had daily catch-ups. Uh, and loads of social events um, such as a virtual quiz, virtual um, treasure hunt, things like that, um, and really just get feel of um, University of Exeter. We also learn about their societies, um, which are really, really nice. Um, really just to get a taste of how it might be at Exeter. Obviously, a virtual experience is nothing like the physical experience, um, but at the end of the day, we just got to deal with what we get. Um, we were also given, um, upon completing the programme, uh, we are now allowed to have a two grade reduction um, if we do get an offer from Exeter. So that, as well as, the, as well as the general positive experience, has now made me want to apply to Exeter um, and I'll be applying for their human sciences programme this year. Uh, so definitely summer schools in general, um, whether they be virtual or physical, definitely do take advantage of them they're very helpful um and yeah that took up one week of my summer holiday the following week so i had that weekend off the following week um i attended another virtual summer school held by surrey university this time and before actually starting the placement they sent me a welcome pack full of loads of nice nice items and goodies uh, from Surrey, which was so nice of them. They also gave me a um, a leave-in pack as well uh, with loads of nice stuff. So the access team is really nice. Um, and again, it was basically everything of the extra programme, but in Surrey terms now. 
uh and that's basically it for sorry um basically everything i've just repeated uh and yeah it for me i don't think the sorry experience was as good being really honest uh and firstly sorry doesn't offer like a human biology or human only subject which i'm looking to study um and they do biosciences so i was on their biosciences course um and it covered things like biochemistry microbiology um genetics evolution basically all of biology and it didn't really appeal to me um, i don't really like their structure um i felt their taste of lectures were a bit weaker the next sub but i must say they were really good definitely really high quality um and again it's, it's a bit unfair to judge them like this because a virtual experience is no way um a good representation and of the experiences in comparison to a physical experience so that being said um i don't think i'll be applying to surrey this year that's another way you can use summer schools um just to see if it's a potential university you can work with i know that some people also absolutely love their experience i must say i met a lot more people on the surrey one than the exeter one even though uh, contact was really limited um so that's another pro that takes up another week of my summer um i'm just going to jump forward to uh to three weeks so these virtual events my summer was completely virtual so it was literally a lot of the time i was just sat here on my laptop just attending all these um zoom sessions when they were open and getting all these advice and just really just getting bored of it but then the oxford uh, summer school came along so i applied to wadham colleges human sciences and biology access summer school and they basically had a bunch of webinars seminars workshops taster lectures uh, meeting the academics society session and social events uh, and to actually get a physical experience to be in oxford living in their accommodation um, for a week um, a taste in their food attending a formal dinner in one of their famous halls um, really just getting a week as a taster of a life as an oxford student I think this was probably my best week of this summer, um, mainly because it was physical and all my events were virtual, definitely physical, virtual. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, I just really enjoyed it. And you know, at the end of the day, I got some merch, two t-shirts, one hoodie, one key ring, one magnet, uh, which, yeah, I just couldn't get enough. Uh, at the end of the week, it was quite emotional, I must say. I definitely, I got along with the whole group um, and met the most people due to the physical nature of this summer school. Um, but yeah, it was just so nice. All these summer schools I attended, by the way, they were all free, um, all um, mainly for access and outreach and participation purposes. So definitely do apply to as many as you can to maximise your chance of getting at least one summer school done. Um, and it would be annoying for clashing dates. So, yeah, definitely apply to as many as you can. Um, that being said, I did do an entire video on my whole Oxford University Wadham College's experience. Um, and it was so good that I've now finalised Wadham College as being my option um, when I'm applying to um, Oxford uh, later this year. So that's my choice of college. To my more detailed video on this whole Oxford experience will be, will be below. I just posted that video last week, so it's quite new still. Um, and yeah, really, I really enjoyed it. All these schemes, so you can get your applications in, will be all below. So um, there's no need to Google around and it's easier for you. Um, yeah, definitely try and make the most of it. So uh, next up um, was my Nuffield Research Placement. So Nuffield Research Placement is a scheme that tries to increase um, outreach to disadvantaged students uh, into STEM and social science as well. And I was I applied with a personal statement and the whole application process and I got an offer to have a two-week placement with an organisation called Education Policy Institute um, who work with basically 
um, writing reports um, on national data of UK schools and um, playing a role in influencing government laws um, around how schools are regulated and run across the country to improve their efficiency and basically increase in quality, uh, increase equality. <clears throat> um, I think that research placement was really good because even though it was virtual, so it was basically working a nine to five job um, for two weeks, um, two weeks together with weekends off, obviously, um, and working nine to five with a daily catch up with your mentor. So I was with another student. Uh, who I'll shout out, Mehnaz Mustafa, it was a pleasure to work with you, um, and we were both working with Bobby Mills, who's a senior researcher, um, and we both really just were writing our own reports based on the, based on the recent uh, UK school census data, all collated on a massive, huge, huge Excel doc, two Excel documents. And we had to use our Excel Excel anas- analysis skills um, and making graphs and drawing conclusions and possible reasons of the context, things like that, just to make a final re- massive report. Um, and I, across the time, I were also I was also applying for a Gold Crest Award, so that as an I as an option, making that that report. Um, as a crest award you can also submit as an epq provided you do the extra work alongside these qualifications um and even your duke of edinburgh uh, award so these four um schemes you could use the same report to cover some aspects of each course or the entire course um so i uh, made, made my report 21 page report which took a lot of time i cannot express how time consuming it was uh, got feedback from my mentor, got some guidance from my mentor, working with my um, with my colleague on this placement, uh, just really analysing this data as much as we could. And then I submitted my, uh, my, uh, my report to Nuffield um, and ticked the boxes of what they wanted, S- uh, submitted to, got, uh, to Crest, ticked the boxes for the gold award, I've got now two more things to add in to my future and yeah that was that was a really good experience and now we're obviously still in contact my mentor and my colleague and we're just in each other with how our how life goes really um yeah it's really important to say that I've met so much people through these experiences professional people um, people my age with similar interests and it's just nice to share that experience um Obviously, research and studying and science is something that really interests me to work with people who also want to do that and professionals in these fields and academics. Um, All these schemes has really made me a social person. But if all schemes were physical this year, it would have been a lot better. But we can't do anything about that. (laughs) But um, hopefully next year, when um, COVID eases down a lot more, um you st- you guys watching this video uh can go out there uh get your experience done because these experiences will put you um will make you unique to other applicants to anything so yeah and also the certificates you get alongside these programs and schemes make sure you keep them safe because if worst goes to worst and you can't talk about it at least you got the certificate to prove it i guess uh really important weeks of my summer six weeks summer holiday taken up by work and education stuff um most of the weekends in between when i did nothing i was mainly just redrafting my personal statement like right now i'm on my 11th personal statement but please don't be uh scared of that because my my from like my really early versions of my um personal statement my drafts were really really terrible like I'm terrible with writing um take my word for it it was really bad so I had to fill on restart a couple of times and it came to my 11th draft I know people who get it done on their first draft and they do and they smash it some people take them three four five six seven um so it's really 11 drafts shouldn't scare you at all so just to clear that up um and then my final week I spent 
a week down in Cornwall with my family, so that was a nice way just to relax, but um, that was more of a family experience, a, fun, a nice fun time um, in the holiday park we were staying, and we were just getting to know Cornwall and, and their beaches and their amazing weather. Um, and then following that was the scary start of year 13. Amazing. <laughs> I'm working for year 13 now. Um, and first impressions, good. I'll probably make a video based on how year 13 is going and mock grades and stuff like that, which has been featured on my channel. But um, yeah, UCAS is obviously really key this year. Um, a bigger focus from A-levels this year. Um, that's the really the main two things you should be looking at. Summary. Yep, it's been a really productive um, summer. Uh, I'd urge you to at least try out one of these schemes. Um, even if you apply to one, you're not guaranteed the place. So I'd urge you to apply to as many as you can. And then depending on what you're accepted into, just narrow down if anything clashes, things like that, just to um, increase your chances of getting something, uh, because that's the mindset I took and I managed to get into quite a few. But I must say as well, I did have my fair share of rejections, as I've mentioned before. Um, I know sometimes I say I've done all these things and my, it might pay a, this idea of me being perfect in that sense. But Sutton Trust, um, Unique, um leading education uh yeah, the the ucl access scheme they all rejected me as well so i've had my fair share um and everyone everyone will everyone will um yeah so i hope this video has been useful in advising you obviously use the comment section to ask me anything i want to help you guys genuinely um and yeah please do subscribe if you like my content and yeah good news i'm back on the on the weekly schedule so every weekend new video coming up